So I recently did a video with my friend Lewis Spears where we watched clips of some of the cringiest TikTok F-boys and wow, they were really bad. But before TikTok, there was the app Musical.ly. I think we all remember this. If you remember, Musical.ly walked so TikTok could become the highest valued tech startup ever. Yeah, that really happened, and it's still a thing. But hey, the internet never stops surprising us. So what is up, guys? This is Tozio today, and welcome back to a brand new video. And if you do remember, I did make a video on Jesse Underhill, who me and Lewis rehashed in a video that was pretty recent. I think he was one of the only Musical.ly people I actually knew of back then, mainly because you guys started spamming me saying, hey, by the way, this 19-year-old is twerking and grinding for kids on a kid's app. Yeah, that's how I found out about him. I later learned that Musical.ly had a very interesting yet messed up community. But however, apparently there was a very popular guy on the app called Paul Zimmer. The videos he posted were basically the same genre of cringy Jesse Underhill stuff. So basically your everyday high school F-boy type stuff. This is an ASMR reaction right now. Oh, can you do the rest in ASMR? I'm not doing the rest in any ASMR. How do people watch that? I'm sorry, I just lost my entire, like, I lost my voice because of how bad. I was not expecting that at all. You can't even put it into words. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> He's reaching new F-boy boundaries. Whoa. Should we get Elon Musk on the phone and let him know? Yeah. Is this like a science thing now? Oh, yeah. I didn't know he could push the boundaries of being an F-boy this far. Now you can put in big letters gone gone wrong or gone too far in the title of this video. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is the stuff that he built a name for himself and became famous off of. But he was also known for the videos that he made with his girlfriend or I guess fiance at the time. Oh my gosh, I'm so ugly. Well, tell me I'm beautiful! Yeah, he was famous for doing whatever that is as well. Whatever that is, that's uh, peak content. But I guess for some people, somehow, they're goals. I feel like the definition of the word goals has changed so much over the last like 10 years. It's like a high school um, career advisor. It's like, okay, so what are your goals? Like a couple years ago, people would be like, oh, I want to get into this university, etc. Now it's like, so what are your goals? Well, this guy on TikTok and his girlfriend are goals day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Squad goals. goals in 1999 was like football goals, soccer goals, and so on and so on. Goals in 2019, no, actually, goals in 2016 suddenly became two TikTok influencers lip syncing together over some audio from a really bad 90s chick flick movie. But anyway, they posted a lot of music leads together and I'm guessing a lot of people like them considering they grew quite the following from this. Well, I mean, people liked them until they realized how desperate Paul Zimmer was for money. So as some of you guys know, the company that used to own Musical.ly also owned an app called Lively. And as you could guess, it was an app for content creators to stream to their Musical.ly audiences on. And there's a comment section you can have pop up donations and so on and so on. It's kind of similar to Instagram Live, but with the donation feature. The main problem with it, though, is it's set up to be like this online kids game. The kids have to pay real money to send him gifts so they can feel validated when he mentions them for four seconds. So it's basically like Twitch, but the donation part is a little bit dodgy and it seems like it's set up for kids who don't really know or grasp the concept or money because it's like you donate points, but these certain points are worth X amount of money and it's kind of unclear to see how much money those points are really worth. So kids will just take their parents' credit cards, buy X amount of points and just throw these points at this Paul Zimmer kid. And because they're kids, they're not realizing they're getting manipulated and essentially just scammed by this creator. But he said he loved me. <laughs> Paul Zimmer said he loved you? Yeah, I gave him a gift. I gave him points. How many points did you give him? A whole lot of them? 100,000. 100,000 yeah, points? He said thank you so much and that he so much loves me. Oh, wow. He loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you guys should go ahead and check her out. She sent in a dab reel, which gets you an instant reaction to your music these. If you guys want to check her out, click right here on the top contributor. She is number one right now. So yeah, click right here and click number one if you guys want to go ahead and check her out. I am, and thank you so much to Cecilia for the sh -sh -sh, the I am very rich gift. Freya with the I am very rich gift. Also, you guys are amazing, blowing it up with so many of the gifts. Remember, guys, you can send in one of the 
Dabrios or five of the I Am Very Rich gifts, either one, and I'll react to your guys' music piece. Thank you, Freya, for the nene. The emoji in the emoji game is going to be the cool emoji. Okay, so first of all, I have absolutely no idea what he's actually trying to say here. Like the whole clip is like a fever dream. Like I feel like I'm watching this, but I have no idea what he's saying. It's like I'm having a stroke while watching this. There's just so much going on that I don't even understand. But unfortunately, though, it's quite obvious that he's begging these kids for money. I think his whole thing was like, if you give this amount of gifts, aka spend this amount of money or mm -hmm. send me this amount of money, he'll watch one of your musicallys and like shout out your name. And so basically give you followers or like boost you. I'm pretty sure that's a part of it. Or that's one so thing. So messed up. Yeah, it's really weird. He's basically just asking them to send stuff that they have to pay for. In return, he gives them a little bit of attention. Wow. Also, though, if you think about it, the the problem with it, or like the reason why, the reason I feel like people would talk about it is mm -hmm. because of how confusing it is with gifts versus money. The messed up part is that his audience is like kids. Because isn't that exactly what Adam22 does? You can pay and he'll watch your music video, right? So that's oh, the yeah. same exact the, the, thing. The difference is like Adam 22's audience is way above the age of 18. Exactly. That's what the so, problem I mean, like, is. This right here is basically like Twitch, but on steroids and with a very confusing like donation system that's kind of curated towards kids. It basically makes kids want to buy these cute little gifts to send to these creators. But anyway, this dude, Paul Zimmer and his lady, Jamie Rose, they end up getting married. And after that, they just straight up disappeared off the internet. They deleted all of their accounts, like all of their accounts, which had millions of followers in total, leaving very few traces of where they went on social media at all, or well, until now. Because the YouTuber Halo Haley found him, as you see in this clip. Every single time I think about Paul Zimmer, I'm like, where did he go? Like, where is he? What is, what is he doing now? I freaking found him, okay? I found him. And he's not back as Paul Zimmer, okay? He is back as a completely different person. So yeah, let's just, Jump right into this. So apparently this dude who once went by Paul Zimmer online has now secretly come back to social media, but not under the name as Paul Zimmer. His name is now Troy Becker. But when you search the name Troy Becker, his IMDb page actually comes up. But there's a weird inconsistency when it comes to his IMDb page though. It says he was born in Oceanside, California in the year of 2000, which would make him 19 years old right now. But on Paul Zimmer's famous birthday page, it says he was born in Maryland of the year 1995, making him two years older than me, meaning he's basically 24 years old right now, claiming to be a 19 year old on the internet. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. So which one is it? Proy Zecker or Tall Bimmer? <laughs> Like, if it's the same dude, like, which one really is it? They look identical. It has to be the same guy. And which one is he lying about his age? I'm assuming it would be the new one, right? Which is just insanely creepy to claim that you're five years younger than what you are to appeal to a younger audience. Yeah, that's really messed up. But on his IMDb page, there's a website linked and the website has one photo of him, not much else. You can click on the bio tab, which says Troy Becker is an American actor born in Oceanside, California. He has been taking classes from celebrity acting coach Brad Heller and has received high praise for the charm and realism he brings to his characters. Recently, Troy moved to Los Angeles to take his career to the next level. Okay, so he's just now an actor, huh? Why does he have to lie about being five years younger to become an actor? Pretty sure they need actors of like all ages. Just putting that one out there. You know, for someone who gets such good grades, you can be so dense sometimes. What? Yeah. I wanted to sit next to you, Laura Jean. I even packed the snacks and I asked Kitty where to find those yogurt drinks you like so much. The Korean grocery store is all the way across town. I know. So, if I'm willing to go all the way across town to get something you like, that means... You must really like yogurt? <laughs> you are impossible.
What is even going on? I mean, yeah, I honestly don't know why this guy deleted everything and is now popping up as an actor under a complete different name. Maybe he actually just wanted his life to be a proper actor here in Hollywood, but that doesn't mean he needs to change his birth date or entire name and everything. He's trying to hide with his new name, despite that he still looks the same and now claims he's five years younger. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, I understand that he doesn't want to be that guy who's begging kids for donations, but it sucks to suck because you are that guy. So uh, I don't know why you're like trying to rebrand your entire life and claim that you're five years younger than what you are right now. It just does not make sense at all. It's pretty creepy. So I'm just assuming he wanted to be a proper actor in Hollywood for shows and films and he didn't want his past to be tied to his present, which, you know, knowing the internet and knowing today in 2019, that will always come back to bite you. Like once something's on the internet, it's there forever. You can't hide from what you've already put on the internet. But what do you guys think of all this? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It would be awesome if you subscribe. If you want to follow my adorable puppy over here who's actually chewing up all the wires in my office right now. He just wants to be a painter. Gary's painting? Yeah. Oh. He just wants to become a painter. Yo, coin slot, you got some competition. <laughs> He's just gonna write something in his own pee that says, I peed. That's what Terry's painting is going to be. And if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as Adatozy on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm still the 97 Leo killer, about to pull a trigger, never switching up. I just want to go and get it with my friends and spend it, because I go and get it if I want. I don't want to second guess it, living in a second, and you come in second to the one. Lately, I've been acting reckless, want to bag your necklace, I don't have a second, got to run. But I recommend this life is what I wanted, made a little bit of progress since we started. I don't think I got to say I go the hardest, I've been thinking about my future, go the farthest, and I got back home was in Japan.